don't miss any content. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Hey guys, welcome back to Sahara Football. Fine Tuesday morning here. I'm here to talk to you about more football. As usual, I'm your host, Silas. If you are with today, I'm going to talk to you about a former Ghanaian player. Yes, Junior Agogo. Yes, Junior Agogo. If you remember on this channel, I brought you news on him before. And Junior Agogo complained about having stroke and being abandoned by his former teammates. I'm going to bring you an update on Junior Agogo. He could not write with his right hand anymore after the stroke incident. I'm going to bring you a video of him explaining that. And also, I'm going to talk to you today about the Black Stars and AFCON 2019 draw will be this friday and i'm going to take you teams have been seated ahead of the draw as usual if you're new to the channel i advise you to subscribe to this channel and click on the notification bell to get more updates so let me just jump right into it so i'll start off with Ghanaian player junior agogo yes if you all remember junior agogo he was a great player for ghana at the Khan 2008 and he was he was really really great for the black stars along with andre ayu and asamoa jan the two Ghana as far as the semi-final of the AFCON 20, 2008 and Ghana were the host in that year. Junior Agogo was a real star for the Black Stars and it's quite unfortunate a few years ago he suffered a stroke and I brought you a story on this channel that said that he had lost all contact with former footballers, former Ghanaian footballers he played with and his mom was the only one looking after him. Yeah, so Agogo recovered from that stroke incident, but now the effects of that stroke are laid to bed now. He complained recently that he cannot use his right hand to write. Yes, in a video here, I'll show it to you guys, but the story says that Junior Agogo cannot use his right hand to write after his stroke incident four years ago. I think this is really sad. Many of us feel footballers are some people in some glass houses they don't go through any problems before because they have a lot of money but they are also humans as well and go through the same things we also go through as human beings it's quite sad that a great player in his day was abandoned sort of by his country that he played for his teammates that he played with and so many people he looked up to to help him in times of need it's his mother that took care of him throughout the whole debacle and the whole illness period and it's, it's i'm really sad for junior agogo and his family i'm really happy he has recovered now but the fact that he can't use his right hand is something that i feel really bad for he was he's now practicing to use his he has even practiced to use his left hand and that is what he's working with now so the story says here for former ghana international junior agogo has revealed that he can no longer write with his right hand after suffering a stroke over four years ago now, the former nottingham forest and zamalek striker in a video post on social media said he has suddenly he has difficulty moving and controlling his right hand this is what he said in the video it's the right hand is the right hand better it's better the right hand he meant but it ain't like before agogo said in a slur speech he said he spent two months in the hospital after suffering the dilapidating illness in december 8 on december 8 2014. he suffered the illness just two years after ending his footballing career and has been praised for his impressive recovery in 2017 agogo told the bbc4 documentary title speechless that he had troubles with speech following the illness which he says has left him lacking confidence and socially isolated according to the bbc two years after his stroke when just 35 years agogo is still visiting the neuro rehab unit of the national hospital of neurology and neurosurgery in london's queen square as he battles to find his way in the world with depleted language now the forward began his career with the owls playing three games for them for the premier league side between 97 and 2000 he went on to score over 100 career goals his most notable spell coming with bristol rovers for whom agogo scored 45 goals in 140 games between 2003 and 2006 he also helped nottingham forest to promotion from league one in 2007 2008 finishing as the club's top goal scorer as they finished runners up in the division agogo enjoyed a cult following 
during his 27 game stint with the Black Stars scoring 12 goals. The producers of the documentary Speechless describe it as fascinating and moving, upsetting and uplifting in its depiction of the isolating and estranging condition of aphasia. So that is the story about Junior Agogo there. I'm, I'm really really sad guys about this. He cannot use his right hand. Let's go have a look at that video of Junior Agogo describing his issue with his right hand. It's really sad guys. It's really sad. Okay, when was your stroke? Um, December 8th, 2014. And how long were you in the hospital? For two months. Were you right-handed before the show? Yes. And how is your right hand now? Um, it's better, but it ain't like before. Can you just show me some? Okay. Can you write with it? No. Okay. So you have pain in your shoulder? No. Okay. But you have some difficulty using it. Moving it, yeah. Controlling. Yes, yeah, so that was Junior Agogo there describing the issue he had with his right hand in that video there. I'm really saddened by this. It's, it's really hard. Footballers are also human beings. Let's also pray for them. Let's have say a word of prayer for Junior Agogo and his family through this trying, trying times. Such a great player. I really enjoyed his football when he used to play for the Black Stars. And a lot of people admire him, the ladies especially. And it's quite sad that this is how it ended two years after his football he retired from football then he had this stroke and it's, it's quite sad we are i'm just happy he's back on his feet now and it's it's just not something permanent or something fatal that happened to him junior agogo let's say a word of prayer for him wherever you are junior agogo we say a word of prayer for you and wish you all the very best moving forward so i move on to my next story it's about the black stars and the afcon 2019 draw ghana has been seeded in port a yes ahead of the draw ghana black stars are seeded in port a the draw is on friday and you know this channel will bring you updates on the draw as and when we get them so the story says here the Ghana Black Stars are set to be seeded for the AFCON 2019 African Nation Cup or draw, although CAF is yet to announce the port for the event in Cairo in on April. It's expected that CAF will use a mixture of the March 2019 FIFA World Rankings and recent performances in the Nations Cup to sort the teams into four, into four lots. Port 1 is likely to be made up of Egypt, Ghana, Tunisia, Ivory Coast, Cameroon and Senegal, while Port 2 will be made up of Morocco, Nigeria, the Republic, Democratic Republic of Congo, Algeria, Mali, and Guinea. Now, South Africa, Uganda, Guinea-Bissau, Zimbabwe, Angola, and Burundi are likely to be in Port 3. Now, Port 4 should have some potentially tricky opponents in Mauritania, Namibia, Benin, Kenya, Madagascar, and Tanzania. The 24 qualified teams are divided into four ports each containing six teams which will be drawn into six groups for the group stages the first two in each group will advance in the second round along with the four best third place teams at the last african cup of nations in gabon ghana were drawn in group d alongside egypt mali and uganda and finished second now the 2019 african cup of nations will run from 21st june to 19 july which with an extended 24 teams for the first time so you can see here the various pots on your screen pot one pot two pot three and pot four with ghana in pot one ghana is expected to be in pot one so the black stars we think will be in pot one and it's likely ghana will avoid some top top guys but they could face some other tricky opponents there they could face nigeria in the group stages they could face Morocco, Algeria, Mali, and Guinea. It, 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 it's, it's all to play for. It's really going to be an interesting Cup of Nations. I'm really looking forward to the draw, especially on Friday. And I will bring you updates as and when you, you, we get them. So with these pots, potential pots being revealed, who do you think the Ghana Black Stars will be facing? Let me know your thoughts in the comments box. Who will the Ghana Black Stars be facing 
in your opinion and i'll let you guys know so that has been it for today i've been talking to you about junior agogo about the black stars being seated in port one ahead of the afcon draw Masi asante kotoko as we all know have some issues concerning transfer of players Songe akuba and surprise surprise emmanuel jemfi are the players who are set to lead the club i'll have a video my colleague will have a video on the channel discussing that into details and fans expressing their disgust at the management of Kumasi Asante Kotoko. So letting such valuable players go for no other team than Zesco United. More on that later in the day. As usual, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day.